Good morning, JHS. Hopefully you had a nice Easter break and you are all ready to get back to work. We are going to finish with awareness information on Friday. We would like if all students and faculty would wear blue or an autism awareness shirt on Friday, April 22nd to show your support for autism awareness. Today, our autism awareness leads us to information from students on the spectrum. Listen while kids your age talk about how they would describe what autism is, how it is to live with autism, what they wish others knew about autism, and how they feel about a cure and what makes them special. These students want people to see the bigger picture of autism. There are parts of it that are uniquely special and qualities that feel fortunate to have, and there are struggles they feel the, they deal with daily. Remember to wear blue on Friday. Autism is really hard to explain for me because I've never really experienced being a n normal person because I did that in quotes because, well, let's face it here, there really is no such thing as normal. It can be a lot of different things. It's a spectrum. Not everyone has every single symptom. You can't tell from someone's, like, face if they have autism. Autism is how someone's brain is wired. Like, it's just part of your perception of the world. What? Well, there's too much people standing around talking, too much noises. It just feels like uncomfortable. It's it's lights and sounds that usually do it for me. Like it's like the entire world is like pressuring you and like crunching onto you, and there's not really much you can do about it except just to get out of there. I don't go to movie theaters. I've never been to a concert. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of stuff. I remember very early on, like, watching someone scratching at the carpet. Like, the feeling sticks when it's really awful, and it's just like... <sighs> Some people with autism have a hard time, on, like, knowing when someone's happy or sad or angry or frustrated. I wish socializing were easier, definitely. Because there are so many times when I'm with other people who seem to have a natural flow of conversation that they all get and it almost seems like they have a psychic link with each other at some point that I am locked out of. If someone with autism is like a quiet kid in a corner or something like that, um, it's usually because um, he's questioning himself. Um, so if you see someone like sitting alone or something like that, feel free to go and talk to them. It could help them out a ton. Trust me, I know. Autistic people don't want to be um, talked down to, first of all. Well, some people, like teachers and stuff, misunderstand because they don't know that people have autism. I wish people would understand that autistic people have their own voices. I wish people wouldn't judge people with autism so harshly. I want to know which person knows where autism comes from.
I feel like a cure for autism is a complicated subject. So in order to cure autism, you would have to go into the DNA and genetics of someone and alter it. But that's your basic makeup, so that would probably impact your entire being. I think if you're autistic, you're autistic. And really the, the only true cure, I think, is really what I have gotten over the years, which is support and love. If I could cure autism, I would definitely not. Mainly because of the fact that um, I want people to be different. I wouldn't want to cure autism, no. I'm really good at a lot of things. I am good at thinking a lot. Um, good at <coughs> writing stories, like the beginning and endings. I'm just not very good at filling them in. I'm good at... Um, I'm told I have a pretty good sense of humor. I'd like to think I have a good sense of humor. I went to music school for six years in vocal performance. I was a 3D animation major for three years. I'm good at... Creative writing, fiction, and a medieval fantasy. Fishing? Um, taking a walk, riding my bicycle, playing the piano, taking the train, reading, uh, dancing, uh, no, that's all I have. A lot of people with autism are able to do something. I would like to live independently. I've always wanted to be a writer. I also want to make the world a better place. I don't just see one future, I see many possibilities of my future. People with autism are people, too. That about sums it up. This is the Daily Bulletin for Juniata High School. Tuesday, April 19th, Cycle Day 2. Today's lunch is Smokehouse Grill, ch Toasted Cheese Sandwich, or Chili Dog. Athletic events. Tennis hosts Tussie Mountain at 4 o'clock. The track team competes at Greenwood today. Players dismiss at 2.30. Athletic news. The varsity baseball team lost to Greenwood 12-11. to Grant Reinhold was 3-4 for four with a triple and three RBIs. Jordan Dickinson had two hits and two RBIs. He had a double. Logan Kaler had two RBIs. Softball lost to Penns Valley 10 to 0. Important news items. Students will report to homeroom tomorrow morning. Please wear blue or an autism awareness shirt on Friday, April 22nd. The first period with the highest percentage of students in class supporting autism by wearing blue other than jeans or an autism shirt will win donuts and juice for the class. Pennies for Patients competition sponsored by Key Club will run through the 22nd. This competition is to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The first period class that raises the most money will win breakfast. Pennies and paper currency are positive amounts. Silver coins, dimes, nickels, and quarters are negative amounts. You can sabotage another class by putting silver coins in their box. Let's have a friendly penny war and raise money for a great cause. There will be a student council meeting today, third period, in the auditorium. The meeting should only last about 15 minutes. We will be handing out field trip permission forms. If you cannot attend, please let one of the advisors know. And now to Ross for the, for the rest of your announcements. Thank you to all students and staff who participate in the food drive to benefit our local food pantry. We collected over 330 items to help stock their shelves. We also raised $80 from Hat Day to buy larger items to be donated. The winning eighth period class was Mr. Ergel's band and chorus with 125 items. Mrs. Heidenreich and Mrs. Walter's eighth periods took second and third place. The winners will receive a sweet treat this week. There will be a dodgeball tournament on April 23rd, starting at 3 p.m. Teams should consist of eight players, four girls and four guys. No teams of all one gender will be allowed. The cost is $5 per player. Payment is due by April 21st to Mrs. Briner. The tournament will be double elimination. All proceeds will benefit Juniata Student Council. All players must complete a waiver, which will be given to the captains to distribute. You will not go on the court unless these have been turned in. All registration forms, waivers, and rules can be picked up outside of room 208, which is Mrs. Briner's room. 
Prom announcements. After prom sign-up forms are posted outside of room 204. Each student planning to attend after prom needs to sign up and return sign forms today. After prom will be held here at JHS starting after the prom. The prom walk will be held at G JHS starting at 530. There will be photographers here to take student photos and photo opportunities for parents. Students are welcome to participate in prom walk before heading to prom at Ansfield. There will be no spectators at Ansfield due to safety and parking. Juniors, if you do not pay your balance, you will not be able to attend prom. Please pay these immediately. See Mrs. Hayes if you have questions. Juniors and seniors, all guest registration forms must be turned in prior to you attending the prom. Turn them in ASAP. Also, if you signed up for prom and your guest has changed since you signed up, please see Mrs. Hayes to, have, to update the guest list. Only those listed on the final guest list will be permitted to attend. Forms are posted outside of room 204 for volleyball and cornhole tournament that will be occurring at the after prom. Two players per team for cornhole and eight players per team consisting of four boys and four girls for volleyball. If you're interested in either tournament, the forms need to be picked up and returned by Monday, April 25th, or you will not be in the tournament. Both tournaments will be single elimination. Guidance news. The National Guard is sponsoring a job fair featuring central PA business and employers on April 26th. Transportation will be provided. JHS students attending the job fair will attend the morning session. Any interested juniors and seniors should sign up by the close of school today. There's a QR code in the library, cafeteria, and the guidance office to sign up. See guidance if you have any questions. Students may now rise for the flag salute.